Suddenly, as if by magic, the shopkeeper appeared. For those of a certain age, let me remind you of a TV classic, Mr. Ben. Mr. Ben took the outfit and went through the door to the changing room. In the stories, Mr. Ben visits a costume shop, and when he steps through a magic door at the back of that shop, he's transported to a different place, where the costumes he has chosen takes him to a new home and a new adventure. It's a bit like walking through the door to Fonica, 51 Poland Street, Soho in London, a place where you get to celebrate the joys of vinyl, where you can line up a stack of records, stick some cans on, and disappear to your own happy place. Though Fonica has its own magical door at the back of the shop, and this one takes me down a flight of steps to a place called the Vinyl Factory. So, this is it, the Vinyl Factory. Close your eyes and tap your heels together three times. And think to yourself, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's, there's no, no place like home. There's no oh, place. We love a space like this. Pictures, pictures, pictures. All right, let's put some pictures up in this place then. Welcome to the Fujifilm and Magnum Photo Agency collab. Home. Let us detonate tonight. As travelling exhibitions go, this one, at least for the Brit fans, will be over before you view this film probably, though Paris is the next stop. But I wanted to share this incredibly illuminating collaboration between a powerhouse photographic agency, that being Magnum, with the world powerhouse in mirrorless cameras, that being Fujifilm. My cousin on her Instagram account, I'll link below, wrote a post the other day alongside this photograph of herself. What's this got to do with a home project, you might ask? Well, I think quite a lot, actually. We're so busy making pictures of the, the everyday, like the late-night espresso on the road, the cake at Costa, that bowl of tapas on holiday, the sun rising over the city on our daily commute, that we forget to make pictures of us in our truly special places with our loved ones, or, or more especially the things that make us who we are, the, the exquisite, sometimes amazing banality that can be home. Cuz here on this post talks about her close friend who passed away last September completely unexpectedly and she was, she was devastated when she looked for pictures of the two of them together that she couldn't find any. She didn't make any really and there's a, there's a big gap in her photo archive. And the home project just sings of this for me. Let me give you a little bit of history. 2017, Fujifilm invited Magnum Photos to get together and produce a project called Home. 16 of the world's most influential photographers were tasked with documenting what for them means home. They each had to make a story, exploring this place they know as home. They all used the same Fujifilm camera, so there was a, a levelling of the technical playing field there, I guess. But the stories, they were dynamically different. If you follow the photographers who belong to this, this Magnum family, you'll know, as the book here says, that these are photographers who usually or instinctively turn their camera on the other but rarely themselves. These home stories take us to, to 10 countries, and I'm lucky enough, links below again, to have made films about two of that 16. For instance, Olivia Arthur's story documented the birth of her second daughter. You can find Olivia's work in the, uh, toward the end of the book. Here we go. I remember that there were quite a few pictures of, of Taya, her first daughter, and uh, the, the narrative really uh, was along the, the lines of how Taya was also going to deal with the, the arrival of a sister. There was a picture in here in particular during the, the moments where Olivia was waiting in hospital to, to give birth. Here we go. The hat flying through the air. This, this picture, although it's kind of slightly abstract, is actually this is the hospital um, hat that we had to wear to go into theatre. And while we had this sort of three hour waiting, n not knowing, you know, whether we had five minutes to wait or, or, you know, hours more, we sort of didn't know what to do. So we started throwing the hat up in the air and I was taking pictures of it. 
like a little um, jellyfish. From arrival to departure, Mark Power, king of the long tail photo project, usually told the photo story of his daughter leaving home to go to university. There's a, an image toward the the end of this where Mark takes his um, what he described as his first. Uh, an only selfie. And I was a bit tearful in the car coming home as well and I, and I wanted to try and recreate that in some way and so I made myself go and sit on her bed and um, in an empty bedroom and just thought about our, the things we'd done over the last 19 years together and of course that started the tears coming. Atop the two photographers I, I got to film there are some stories I'd really suggest you go look at. I saw one visitor on the Friday at the exhibition just stand in front of Anton de Gatta's very intimate, very dark story for the best part of, well, it must have been an hour. And then Elliot Erwitz, delicious, infamous, photographic wit was on full display. This is my favorite from the, from the exhibition. Um, his dog on the sofa, Elliot's got his cigar. And behind him is the, the infamous picture of the fish with the, the cigar. There's a kind of a, a there's a, well, there is a mirroring going on. I love this picture. You know, you don't have to be a photographer to be inspired by this project. And in the links, I'll guide you to the YouTube channel that features interviews with each of the photographers, the making of it, the making of the book, and then Magnum's own website where you can seek out the stories in more depth. My only regret, if I have a regret about the project, which seems an odd thing to say, is that, um, well, I've got the book. This is the book, Home, the book. But I didn't get one of the photographers to sign it.